Welcome to Creighton University School of Law Van Tyker Rare Book Room. The collection is comprised of over 750 rare books, documents, and items. The first article that I'd like to show is one of our most beautiful pieces in the rare book collection. This is a royal charter from the reign of King Charles II. The approximate date on this document is 1683. It's handwritten by royal scribes on royal parchment. The handwriting on the charter is of a very particular style of handwriting, and it's all in Latin. English was not an accepted language until several decades later. The second item that I think that you'll be fascinated to learn about is the oldest book in the collection. From 1529, this is a copy of Justinian's Institutes. By many accounts, the beginning of legal systems in Europe. Published in Paris, it is one of the few where two colors of ink are being used, both red and black. And for printing presses of the time, that was a very special kind of book. The other thing that makes this book special is the markings inside of the book. We see contemporary notations along the spines of the book, and this indicates that this book was used. Justinian's Institutes, a beautiful, a beautiful book. The next amazing piece from the Ventiker Rare Book Room that I'd like to show you today is the most valuable book in the collection. This is a copy of Bracton's Treatise on the Laws of England. It was written in the 12th century by a English judge named Henry Breton. This is the first printing of Bracton's treatise in 1569. This book is inscribed by its owner, Edouard Combes from 1589. So again, it's really exciting for us to see marginal notes, signatures, and other evidence of previous ownership of this work. Now I'd like to spotlight a small book. Just because it's small doesn't mean it's not important. It's called Littleton's Tenures. Thomas Littleton was a judge in England, and he wrote this book for his son, who was studying to become an attorney. All first-year law students are required to study the principles that were laid down first in Littleton's Tenures. It's because it's slightly damaged that makes it interesting. The notes that we see in the opposite pages uh, and throughout the book so there's not a whole lot of difference between a law student in 1569 and a law student in 2013, especially when it comes to real property. In 1771, prior to the American Revolution, British law had already made a huge impact on the colonies. And it was mainly responsible through one work, and that's Blackstone's Commentaries. Originally published in 1765, in England, Blackstone's commentaries were wildly popular there. In 1771, in Philadelphia, the first American edition of Blackstone's commentaries was printed, and that is a copy that I have here today. It was produced on a subscription basis. Very notably, in the last volume of Blackstone's commentaries is a list of subscribers. In fact, 16 subscribers in this list signed the Declaration of Independence, and one became President of the United States, John Adams. We are really thrilled to have a, a copy of Abraham Lincoln's signature in the Rare Book Collection. When Lincoln was a, an attorney in Springfield in 1853, then he stopped by the courthouse to pick up a paycheck for a judge friend of his. He signed a receipt for it, and this is the receipt. So it's very exciting uh, to have uh, this piece in our collection as a part of our Americana. The territory of Nebraska was established in 1855. And these two pieces that I'm holding are the earliest territorial journals and laws of Nebraska. In fact, the 1855 House Journal that I'm holding in my hand here is one of the very first books ever printed in the state of Nebraska on a Nebraska printing press in Omaha. In 1857, the first territorial laws were enacted, 
And this is a copy of those first territorial laws. There weren't strenuous requirements to become a lawyer in Nebraska. Basically, all you had to do was convince a judge that you had good moral character and that you were a resident of the territory and you were eligible for a license to practice law in Nebraska. You know, the most common question that I get about the Rare Book Room is where did all of these books come from? No one really knows. We know that the collection existed as far back as 1930. We have a newspaper article from the Omaha World Herald that describes many of the pieces that I have talked to you today about. So we know that the collection existed as far back as 1930. It's a beautiful collection and we're very proud to have it here at Creighton University.